So here's the story when the Union was in trouble, just because the South was on the bubble. When Honest Abe stepped in for the abolitionist cause, he was one, he was one of the few who showed the South who's boss. In the 1860 election, the Union was split into four sections. The Constitutional Union Party was brand new, and the Democrats were split in two. The Republicans were one, and that's how they got it done, son. My boy named Lincoln decided to do that presidential run. And when he won, the South said we're done. <laughs> Lincoln had to hide in the skies because the South despite just again inaugurated. But after that, it wasn't tolerated. He put McClellan in charge of a peninsula campaign, which was completely insane. He fired him and hired him, fired him again. Getting Grant to join him was the best because his greatest success were in the West. He tried to set the slaves free with his Emancipation Proclamation, can't you see? He felt it was only right to give it to the Confederate state slaves that were still in the fight. One, another one of his tests was when he gave his Gettysburg address. And that's when he called for total war and shut the southern door. Lincoln ran for his second term. He needed some votes so he wouldn't lose. The person he decided to choose was Andrew Johnson and offered him to be his VP. It was his key to success, but it put the Union Party to the test because it may not have been the best because if Lincoln were to die, they may have chose the wrong guy. He tried to reconstruct the nation with a 10% plan, but Congress didn't like it and they weren't a big fan. So they pr proposed the Wade Davis bill and Lincoln stayed super chill by pocket vetoing it. That's when Congress threw the biggest fit. Then came the end when Lincoln was dead. John Wilkes Booth shot him in the head. The radicals were slightly pleased, but not when Andrew Johnson seized the presidential seat. You could say that was really bad, and it made the radicals really mad. Now I forgot to mention that he was six feet tall and wore a real top hat. Now that's the end of my Lincoln rap.